Well, in a sense, the miraculous is quite simple. The more you're in harmony with God, through love of him, loving him, love of him, and in other words, recognizing his love for you, which instills in you tremendous love for him, the more you're in harmony in that way, be it by whatever method, practice, or habitual being, you come into harmony with him. You're attuned to all of his mind, not just what you would have otherwise attracted according to your values, because your values become so similar to his that you open up this infinite vista of who he is. You have a freedom that is astonishing, if you like, all understanding, all knowing, um, and all that that implies. And even a little of that looks like the utter miraculous to those who are not so revealed. Those that do not so have this access. You see, love is the epitome of fellowship. Um, ultimately of oneness, but hold off um, to remain a separate friend. Not quite, not, not quite, but enough, enough to be the most wonderful friend to the most wonderful person. How lovely, <laughs> how unspeakably lovely. So, quite simply, you being in harmony with God gives you access to all that he thinks. Would you believe it? You hold off from complete harmony because you want to be a separate friend. You do not want anyone to be lonely. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Thank you, Dad. I walk beside you through the world today, where trees and leaves and flowers line your way. I'll speak into your heart you'll hear me say, I walk beside you through the world today. Thank you, Dad. Well, when I said that, you may well have been focused on, uh, um, like the Christian of you, Jesus walking with you. But it's not just that. It just were an appropriate word. You see, you're also saying to our Heavenly Father, I'm your friend and I walk beside you through the world today, your infinite world, I, your friend, love being with you. Thank you, Dad. <laughs>